stuff, working out there, my neighbors come by, one of my neighbors came by and said, hey, great, I see you're out there separating all your disciples, Ken. I said, yeah, still doing it. And he said, I hear you going to that same stream. And I said, yeah. He said, that's where we can just throw everything together, right? And I said, well, yeah. He said, I'll take two of those bins. <laughs> and then walked up. Uh-huh. In other words, we're going to be able to just put anything we want in there. Yeah, it's not just sorting your recyclables. I think single stream is throwing no. everything in the trash. Maybe there's different versions. But there may be different versions. Yeah. yeah. It's only recyclable. It's only recyclable. And we may come up with that kind of program. Right now we're just in the study phase of this, and I wanted to get y'all's input on this. I don't see how it would ever be economically sound to sort recyclable from garbage. But that is the question. Well, I, again, I go back to the contamination issue. Contamination right I do all that separating now. Yeah, I can see sort of like sorting the different types of recyclables. The sort of it's and that's the traditional definition of single stream is single, all recyclables in one bin, not garbage and recyclables together. Which no, is confusing. Not my understanding. You may be right about. Yeah. We do that already. We separate. That, that yeah. Good. That's not what I'm understanding that we're being. I mean, that seems like that would. That's essentially like going to a dump and. It is. And pulling all the recyclable stuff. That, that seems crazy. Well, maybe that's the middle well, ground. Well, where I go to the panic, I don't know that much about it. That's why I'm asking you. Well, I mean, that seems like you could get that whole lot of it. You're trying to get it feasible to do that. And I know. Probably. And maybe that's what it's going to be, but it's yeah. not what I'm saying. Yeah, or then the you just have a dump every... that is, or a dumpster that is all their recyclables, but it's separate from their actual garbage waste. They're still separating recyclables from waste, but it's but you all recyclables in one separate place. Well, what's wrong with that? It still has a higher contamination rate. Yes. Why? Because people still have the mentality that they don't have to clean as much. Oh, any plastic can go in it now, and there's and, a and it higher risk to go that garbage. At the, at the, at the plant facility, because all of them are going to be they, like they the I think Republic's one in Joplin has a as long as it's uh, less than 40 percent contamination, it's good. But if it's over that, I think they scrap them. Up. So now you're going with a huge load that you are scrapping versus maybe smaller. That you might it's a great thing that just to consider as years go on, there's more and more facilities that are going to recycle higher numbers of plastic and reuse those products. There's one company in Bentonville that recycles the plastic bags from Walmart. And that's like the thinnest, you know, lowest levels of plastic that you can get. There are like local companies that are doing that. We're Maybe looking at time this on. And can you all educate me somewhat? I'm looking at these um, on the plastic bag, then they're making these new type of bags that are that will compost. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about those? I have Something a friend else. who actually makes some of those. Like his company makes the pellets to do that. And I mean, you can make it out of different materials, but well, his what do you make it out of? The company that he has it makes it out of like tree waste, and so it's. You know, when they cut the lumber and stuff, there's waste from that, and they actually turn that into a compostable bag that I think will compost in a compost, like in a week or two. And if it's in a landfill, it takes a little bit longer than that. But then you have other ones that I think are just a different form of plastic, and I don't truly know what those are made out of. Oh, they will take. What company is it? Um, my friend's company is uh, Xylo Bags, X Y L O Bags. I think they sell them at an O and and I can easily be using this contact And they're actually working on selling out the pellets themselves to companies uh, to make instead of necessarily the bags. So they can use those for shopping bags? Yep. And right now I think they, they do home. trash bags, they do um, kitchen size, they do large right. gardens, but I mean they could be, and I know Walmart has uh, made a new bag that's, uh, I don't remember how much recycled, but I don't think it's a compost. But there are lots of. Well, I've been reading about those. Yeah, there are a lot of companies that actually have compostable bags. So you think those are a good thing? Mm-hmm. Well, you're still know. using the resources to. I would argue that you're still using the resources to make them, and it takes a valuable amount of resources. When lots of resources. You're using the waste from a resource that we're all yeah. Using. But you're using the waste, but you're still using energy to make those new bags, right? 
So you're putting the energy to make those new bags where the most ideal way, I think sustainability-wise, would be no bags. Like if everybody has their own reusable bags or boxes that you already bring in. Because it's a bigger city ban. Or they charge you. Yeah, I would love to see that charging for that. I would too. I mean, I would love to see a styrofoam base. Oh my god, yes. Or if there would be any styrofoam. Yeah, get rid of styrofoam. You would agree with the styrofoam. Let's have to top that as far as. I've almost decided to start with the cotton business to give me styrofoam. But yeah. it's like natural grocery natural grocery doesn't provide bags. Like they just don't have any bags at all. They have boxes or you bring your own. Okay, and consumers we'll get the hair, right? Another fifty years or less. Or what we put in. We're in Arkansas, that would be open for I would say like that. Right, well, yeah, if you could share more places. <laughs> Just like they had a condition wow. for whole foods when they come in for their license. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to whole foods coming in, that's a good thing. I don't know too much about whole foods, they look pretty good. Um, so I would agree with that. I'll tell you the thing that I really don't care for is I don't know if the styrofoam is not worse than plastic bags. I mean, that, that stuff is... Yeah, that's, that's bad stuff. Because every time I clean up the stream, I always find styrofoam. Well, then when it breaks down, I think so much you can't do with those tiny little colors. We did a stream clean it up. We worked on that together. It was a long last fall, and I can't remember what it was. West Fork. Well, it's around the park. I remember all the yeah. Walker Park area. And I got in an area probably not quite as big as this room. About half this room in the lake. So I had trash bags. And I filled up two of those. And all I picked up was styrofoam. There were those, I can even name you the company. Because they're <laughs> still there. You know. And it was just two bags full of styrofoam. Carry out. I have a final point now. I'm not talking. Okay. I know I've seen those beautiful, amazing, award-winning videos the city has put together, educating people about recycling, about children getting in our recycling, but I don't ever see them on television. Like, I can go online and I can look at them, and I can go on YouTube and look at them on the city's website, but we're talking about education, like a marketing campaign that would include outlets that people see, especially if we're talking about different income levels seeing it, they're not going to be the ones who are going to go on the city's website to look for a video about recycling. You're going to have to put a place where they see it, on billboards, on television commercials. Well, it's happening now. It's for boards for people, even if it's just some amount of off in your water bill or whatever. I mean, especially, you have to make it, you can educate people all you want, but if you don't find a way to make it stem care, about it from where they're coming from. Yeah. That's not for me. I'm not going to be here that long. I know. I hear that a lot of children are coming home because I think the school systems around here are very good. They're coming home and influencing the parents. The parents are seeing the kids coming home. The kids are coming home. We have multiple facet markings. Well, I think that we finally have gotten some recycling or things in like the parks and rec, which I'm extremely excited to see that. But I mean, having that more prevalent, I mean, in downtown, you have a trash can, but have a recycling bin next to it. Even if it's only a Yeah, but then you get pretty interesting things that go in the city compost that might be contaminated. So it, yeah, it depends on what you're going to do. Just garbage cans, yeah, but it works. Yeah, and I mean, you want to be your park side, but you don't have garbage cans. I can't hear the speaker, guys. Back in the afternoon, he would have flower patterns of those stones replacing that whole area of the street. The street cars and everything, the people would go right through it. I wish we could get some permeable paving or something that would take the water and would not uh, pollute and uh, get it into the ground instead of 
lifting it off the Arkansas River. One portion of it, and I'll finish up here. In the last legislative session, we had a lot of bills that well, I was somewhat opposed to, and I know that this is probably not Sierra Club topics, but we're going to continue to fight for quality in the city. We're not done. Um, there's two bills that I spoke against. One was Senate Bill 202, and uh, Representative Boundaries 1228. I think those are two bad bills. And uh, we did not support those, and we're going to continue to fight for equality in this city. So we're not done. And, uh, I think quality, pursuit of quality, and everything is a exactly. green economy, and probably the only one. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I believe that's all I have. I'd, I'd like to uh, ask you something about uh, the inverse condemnation bill, um, which is the bill that said that if a city or a county